same old shit, just a different day. I'm clocking in and clocking out to keep the bills paid. Bills paid. At this nine to five, temporarily. If you're not trying to live your dream, we are not the same. Same old shit. Just Greetings, redheads. Thank you for joining us in another episode of your favorite show, which is what? Red's View. Make sure you subscribe to youtube.com slash We Authentic Network and make sure that you hit the alert button so you can get all the updates anytime we drop something. We have a special guest with us today. Now, now of course, we got the most honorable DJ <laughs> PM. You know what I'm saying? He's the legend. Shout out to him. But we also have Mr. Brand Man Sean, What's ladies up, and gentlemen. He is a special guest. So, Brand Man Sean, tell us about your uh, channel, and then I'll let them know what's going on with it later. All right, cool. So, hey, my channel is Brand Man, the Brand Man Channel. We go over a lot of music industry related content, but music industry, but also creative entrepreneur related content, really he focus heavily on marketing and branding. We go deep in that, but we got a little entertainment for the culture on the channel as well. Mm -hmm. Which brings Resview. We're going to be partnered up, powered by, we're going to be on that network. Okay. <laughs> we are going to be on. You ready, PM? I'm ready, man. Hey, man, we about to turn it up. You I'm know ready. what I'm saying? We, we getting to. We strong. With it. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me get you a fish that, that, that whole Boom. awkward thing. That's my finger. He can't touch it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's our special announcement, Redheads. Make sure that you subscribe to his channel because we will be on that platform. Yes, you know? sir. So it's going down. Uh, well, we gave some good news, but now we have to give some bad news. Um, I can't believe I'm even saying this, but R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. R.I.P. to this man. Uh, he was shot yesterday. I'm so devastated by it. Um, he was shot six times. Five in his body, one in his head, um, in front of his store in L.A. And uh, yeah, the hip-hop community is really mourning his death. We didn't see it coming. Nah, not at all. And, you know, details are scarce, but they're still rolling in and, and things like that. But, man, like, Nipsey was more than music. I think oh, we can all agree on that. Yeah, like, 100%. He had just put out an album last year. Yep, Victory Lap. Victory Lap, you know what I'm saying? It was Grammy nominated. Uh, he's been in the game for, like, 10 years, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's been putting in work. He even appeared in some, a couple of movies and stuff like that. Yeah. But I think the most important thing about Nipsey was... Like I said, he was more than music. He was known for his hustle, his respect, his grind, his black empowerment, his entrepreneurship. Man, like just involved in the in the community, the black community in particular, man. Yeah, like I yeah. it just he he meant so much and it it hurts. He was only 33 years old, had two children, um one with Laura, Lauren London. Uh now those children don't have a father, you know. It, it it's it's real sad and real devastating that somebody of his caliber is taken away from us. So, uh, you know, he meant a lot to me, not even like I just said for it, like for his music, but just more like just hearing him talk, knowing what he was about. This is a travesty. And I just I can't believe it. Like, what, what's your thoughts about the whole thing? man? I mean, <clears throat> rest in peace to Nip. Uh, crazy thing is, man, if I can be honest. I wasn't even a fan of his music. I was yeah. more so a fan of him as a person. Right. And yeah. um, his leadership and, you know what I mean? Like, he just seemed like, I never got the chance to meet him, but he seemed like he had a good head on his shoulder. And somebody we I, knew. And I know yeah. he did, I know he did like a, a lot of community work and that's something I identify with because yeah. I know, um, just to name a few things, I know he had just did a park, redid a park in his neighborhood yep. that he got Puma to do. And and then uh, he also got Puma to give like all the kids that came out to the grand reveal or whatever the park to give all the kids a pair of shoes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's just one of the many things. He had a STEM program. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, yeah. like, come on, man, bro. Bro was a good dude, bro. Really. And I know, like, I mean, I know the gang banging culture and all that is what is painted to be today. But he was a real gangster. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to get too deep into that because we, that's not what we're here for. Right, right, but right. But if you right. look up like the real definition of gangsters, the yeah. real definitions of why these gangs was formed. Yeah. He really embodied he that. Represented that. He, he represented that. He really embodied that. that. Like I said, I don't, I'm not going to get specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? If you yeah. want to know what that is, look it yeah, up. Yeah, look but, it up. What do you mean to you, man? Oh, man. Everything that, that PM said, man. Um... Just that entrepreneurship yeah. and, um, embodiment. I did enjoy um, his music, but it was nowhere near. He's one of those people where 
as no matter how successful their music is, but because of who they are outside right. of that, right, it can never supersede nah, who they are as a person. Nah. Just like with Tupac, man. Yeah, like, definitely. It's like yeah, he had a lot of hits and some, some music people liked, but the person that he was was right. so much bigger. Yeah. Than the music itself it, and what it meant to the community, like yeah. he's somebody that you, like he's a real loss. That was a real one. You, nah, for sure. Like you feel it when a real like you know not to talk about other people, but yeah. it's just different. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like, like it, it I, felt I, different. I, I agree completely, bro. Like when some artists die, I mean, not saying that nobody's life is more valued exactly. than the other, but it's yeah. just valued differently. Like yeah. when some artists die, it's like damn, we ain't gonna get no more music yeah, from that right. person. Yeah. But when Nip died, it, it's like this dude was really trying to make a difference right. in the community, mm -hmm. which yeah. eventually put, will be into and, the and world. And he put black people to work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot. Like just like he was really about it. Yeah. And he was young. That yeah. I think that's like the that's most the important part, thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm old enough now. Like I'm not even, you know, I'm not up there to 33 yet, but yeah, yeah. like I'm old enough now to know that 33 is young. Right. Like, like yo, like yeah. this dude Super has young, so yeah. much more the trajectory he was on, man. Yeah. And the thing about it is. Like it's one of those things where you didn't even you can never even have imagined you would feel this way. Right. It, oh no, nah, it's a person never. that you don't yeah. know, but nah, when nah, it happens, nah, nah, it's nah, like, nah. yo, what is this I'm feeling? I bro? said the same thing like, yesterday. Like, when I found out I about it, I'm like, bro. like I was really it took the life out of me. Yeah. Like really, like literally, I couldn't even focus. Like it, it yeah. was bad. It yeah. was bad. But yeah. you know, like I said, details are coming in. Uh, we're getting updates on what happened, but. Look it up, you know. Uh, but the most important thing, we're going to be celebratory about his life. Mm -hmm. So we're going to say R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. Right, sir. Uh, you know, deepest condolences to his family. Lauren London, we with you. You know, so it is what it is with that. But this is important because who we're talking about today and we're about to go into, you know, we, we got to celebrate our legends while they're still here. Yes, sir. We got to give yes, them their roses while they're still here. And a, this particular individual has held it down in the game for years. Yep. And I'm excited about doing this episode because here at Red's View, we're going to give you your roses. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're going to do that. You know, but um, Juvenile. Yes, sir. Juvenile, the original flagship artist of Cash Money Records. Mm. Man. So we're going to talk about him for the, uh, you know, these next moments. Let's do it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's Juvie first. Juvie the Great. Yeah, Juvie the Great. Let's first talk about his legacy. Okay. Okay. Um, the creativity of Ha. Huh. Does everybody remember that? Of course. Of course. Of course. To me, man, Ha huh was so unique because think about it, man. Like he was rapping on there, but it wasn't rap. He was talking. Nah, yeah. He was yeah. talking like just he was painting a picture of just living in New Orleans in the hood yeah. in the projects, like and everything ended with Ha. Huh. Now let me tell you a funny story. When I first heard Ha. Huh, I th I knew the beat was fire, yeah. but when he started rapping, I thought that he was it was an intro. Right. I thought that that was the yeah. intro into his rap. Oh, I got you. You I know what I'm saying? You. Like that's you with that big body bends. Huh? I'm like, oh, he 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 talking, yeah. but I'm thinking he about to go the hell in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then I'm like, hold on, and I heard the hook play, and I'm yeah. like, oh, so that is the verse. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 and yeah. I just think that that was so unique at the time, and. It was just super creative, right? Like, that's a classic. People still flip that flow today. Yeah, yeah. they still do. Right. Like it, it, that was incredible, bro. Like I just think that that was just so impactful. What you think? No, I thought it was dope too. I actually, again, being honest, didn't like the song at first. And, yeah, because you you were New York. Yeah, yeah you know bro. what I'm saying. I'm, I'm a big East Coast fan. Yeah. So and it wasn't that I didn't like juvie or cash money's music yeah i just didn't like that song i didn't like his flow on it yeah it felt real silk the shockish to me yeah at first it was unorthodox yeah like a but, but it definitely yeah. grew on me yeah. and yeah. i will say this because i know what you're gonna say okay i only like it because jay-z oh got over my reach. god all right and that is not true i actually hate jay-z's verse on the you reach. do i hate it okay i hate okay. it i thought you was about to say no. okay i hate it a lot of people love that verse yeah nah, I mean, a that's a weaker jay-z verse yeah for sure. now what we can say is that helped juvenile propel to the next oh level. definitely juvie said that oh, yeah. Himself. yeah he's yeah yeah because think about it i mean at the time jay-z was just he was always big but yeah like at that time he was the premier mc yeah. you know what i'm saying and for him to jump on a high remix right. you know what i'm saying like that was big and a southern person period that's what i was and that, you see go. you took the words right yeah, out of my yeah. mouth it was a southern person. that's what i was about to say i was about to say the fact that he jumped on a southern artist 
track period. Because yeah. I don't even think he had did Big Pimpin'. No, he nah, didn't at that time. Yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. That was like 98. So he, yeah. so he wasn't collaborating with no Southern artists at that time. That was probably what made him do Big Pimpin'. Probably. That's why them numbers started creeping. Probably. Said, well, I got to give me a one. Yeah, yeah I got to give always, me another one. He's <laughs> always been good at scouting out talent. Oh, and he knew that once the wave, like Juvie caught that yes. wave, he was like, I need to go on ahead and put a yeah. remix on it. So, shout out to Jay-Z. I really feel like if it wasn't for Jay-Z, I don't... Well, I ain't gonna say for what. Yeah, yeah, chill out, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna say. Cause <laughs> but, Juve still Juve. I what I'm gonna say. I know what you was gonna say. Yeah. And I agree. I don't think he would be as big a star as he is. But, because but it's reasonable to say that. Yeah, yeah. Because I I think collabing, even though, and the crazy thing about that song is they didn't even collab. Yeah, Jay Z basically took, oh, yeah. the song took the song and put, and it put out a remix. Yeah, and Juve and them people just got the paperwork together and put it and out put it out on the on the album. Yeah, four hundred degrees. Yeah, but but I think it's safe to say because Juve said that it's itself that they weren't messing with none of his other music yeah. out there yeah. outside of like the South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I think it is pretty safe to say that he might not. I'm not going to say he wouldn't have been. Yeah. But I think it's safe to say he might not be. He brought it. Yeah, he did. They, yeah. Cash Money was definitely going to yeah. be successful. But, but, but yeah. I think it's also safe to say that Jay-Z might not be as big as he is True. in the South. If he if did, it wasn't they, they both, both yeah, yeah, Let me, let me was say that. He's super strategic. Oh, man, yeah. He is. Everything he do. So Han was on the same album as this classic to this day. If you play this in the club, you have to play the beginning of it first. You can't just jump into it. Back that Crank ass that up. Oh, oh, I'm here sorry. you go, man. You see how goofy this dude is? This dude sorry, is so bad. I, I thought you was talking about. Oh, go man. ahead, man. Oh, go wow. ahead. But back that ass up. Back that ass A Z Z. Back that oh, ass man. up, man. Like that was an impactful record. It it kind of had the same formula as Huh, but he yeah. was actually more rapping. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. And. And shout out to Manny Fresh, man. Yes, Just for him making that yeah. beat. And he was so instrumental in Cash Money success, producing all those records. But uh, back that ass up, man. That that took Juvenile to like, man. dude. Like to this day. The legend. That was 20 years ago. Yeah. But yeah. you still play it and it's the same reaction oh, every time. Every Trust time. Know it's a, as Trust a DJ. me. As a DJ, I can tell you. It don't matter if I'm in... <sighs> California, Mississippi, New York. You could even be in Nebraska, Jerusalem. Nebraska, it don't matter. <laughs> you could be in Jerusalem. I ain't never DJed play. in Jerusalem, so I can't vouch for that. But I have been overseas. Yeah. DR, Jamaica, Bahamas DJing, and you play that record, man, it's going it's crazy. Over with. The ladies, the ladies love it. And funny story, which is it's crazy how often this happens. Juvenile didn't even want to do that. Record. He didn't, yeah. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. Yeah, he did. That. He said that. He said he didn't want to do that record because of the New Orleans bounce. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. He okay, said he yeah, had, yeah, he yeah, said yeah, he had that. watched so many other New Orleans yeah. artists get pigeonholed mm -hmm. from doing bounce music yeah. that he didn't want to do it. But I think personally, that record had just enough bounce mm -hmm. with just enough real rapping yeah. to to be the perfect blend to be here 20 years later. Right. And don't sleep on the fact that Lil Wayne was on that song. Yes, he was on the And on put the it, telly. was that the first to drop it like it's hot? That was yeah. the first time it was on there. The rapping that. is what's important about that song? Well, the rapping? Yeah. Uh, no, I think really it's the combination of the dance and then the beat. Yeah. It's just that. I think the beat and the beat bounce. that ass yeah. up repeatedly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. The, it, it was like, <laughs> dude, that, that drum. That's the part that matter. Bro. It's grandmas that be dancing to that. Oh, yeah. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like it yeah. came out yesterday. You played it at the VFW. It's going up. <laughs> hey, that, that was that was a unique record. Yeah, it was. Let's talk about other classic songs that he has. Um, because you know what's unique? The New Orleans bounce thing that he didn't want to do is pretty much most of his hits have been that. His hits. Most like, of his uh, hits, yeah. yeah. I give you that. Most of his okay, hits. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. most of his hits are talking about women dancing and shit. Yeah, I wouldn't say them his best songs. No, no, no. I ain't okay, say best song, right, but like most of his hits. Two different combinations. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I think a couple of classic that. songs that he got, of course, uh, uh, what's it? Slow Motion. Okay. Slow Motion. Classic. Is about, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Future Soldier Slim. Yeah. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Yeah. Soldier Slim. Then you got uh, what, what's another one of his? So uh, motion's not bounced though, right? Nah, yeah. you so motion's not bounced. It was very uh, what was what? it? It wasn't bounced. It was. I mean, it gave you a vibe that made women want to dance, but it's yeah. definitely it not wasn't bounced. bounced. Really. Okay, nah, nah, was mama nah, nah. was mama got ass bounced? Mama got ass was yes, definitely bad. That was bad, yes, sir. Yeah, uh, I uh, forgot about Mama see, got ass. See? <laughs> Mama got ass. Yeah, set it off. I'm not saying set it off was bounce, but 
It was a hit. It was yeah. a hit. Yeah. Set it off was a hit. You understand was a hit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You understand was just dope. Ooh, I don't yeah. Know what? Yeah. Now, another hit that I don't yeah. even know if he rapped on it or not, but know your clap. Did he? Rap oh on yeah. That? That, oh dude, yeah. He, no, he didn't rap. I think yeah. he was just on the hook. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Something or like that, that was his group what, for yeah. sure. Whack yeah. on but, skip. Yeah. 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 Uh, that was a hit. Uh, uh, juvenile dude, like I'm trying to. I know, rodeo. Rodeo. Rodeo, rodeo was. Yeah, yeah. That, rodeo I was think a hit. Rodeo was his last major that was single. The last one. The yeah. last one that uh -huh. he squeezed out. Uh, his but, last one? Yeah. Because that was. I can remember what's after that. Give me a second. Let me. Nah, I'm digging nothing. in my crates. Maybe not in my the mind. last major. Like yeah, that was the last one. I'm that digging did in my crates in my mind. Because uh, that was y'all keep talking. That was on reality right check. Reality yeah. check was his last album that went gold or went had some type of certification. Oh, I okay, the name of that project. Yeah, it was reality. Like it because that was during the Hurricane Katrina thing. It came okay. out 06. I remember it like it was yesterday. I I, I can't think, but I I, I Hurricane Katrina. And Rodeo. <laughs> yeah. a, it was crazy. It's a wild connection, uh, right? There. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rodeo was his last one. It might have been. He had a good run because we start. Well, first of all, we could go back to his first. Out, or not his first first album, but his first album on Cash Money, so, Soldier Rag. Yeah, uh, what was that the name of it? Soldier Rag. Mm. I know Soldier Rag was his song. Uh, I have to look it up again. Yeah, I don't know about But that. anyway, uh, but we know Four Hundred degre yeah, Degrees. Yeah, Four Hundred Degrees. Uh, then we had. Is Four Hundred Degrees a classic? That's what I was going to get to. Oh, okay. Is I'm it? Bad. I'm skipping ahead. Do you feel like Four Hundred Degrees? Sure, yeah, that, I had to say it's a classic. I think so. That's a classic. Yeah, arguably. How could it not uh, be? Classic. Follow me now. I think it's a classic Southern album. Wow. Wow. I mean, you just got to be, like, bro, like, you got to be honest, man. When you start throwing around the term classic, that means, like, I, all over these here United States. You don't feel like 400 no. Degrees was a classic how many album? Tra how many tracks are there that are just universally classic? It's, 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 there's... Most people, especially at that time, reg regionalism was so strong. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to find it. But Reasonable music. Doubt's still a classic, even though region regionalism was so strong. Reason uh, uh, Illmatic is still a classic. True. But look at those records those on there. Those market as classics. I, no. And they became classics. <laughs> no, no. I, no. I feel like Reasonable Doubt was not marketed as a classic. No, Niggas about, hated I'm, that I'm at talking first. About a lot I'm sorry. Of people. people hated that at first. <laughs> I feel like, I mean, and I, I think that they are classics. But yeah. I feel like a lot of the reason that those are classics is because the influence of New York was so strong yeah. at the time yeah. that they were taught like over time people kept saying they were yeah. classics. That other regions just started to listen. That man, okay, but we listened and accepted it. That's though. true because I ain't gonna start naming names because then he get mad at me. But it's a lot of New York artists <laughs> who people herald as like greats and hip hop pioneers and godfathers, and they trash to me. Come on, one, you give me one. One dude. group in particular well, give me that one. got like thirteen people man, in it. I ain't got time for it. Man. <laughs> oh, I promise I don't. Got trash. Yeah, to me, dog, they not so. good to me, man. Oh, we, 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 okay. Let, well, let's, I, yeah, let's we, let's stay on Juvie. We can got, hey, we can shoot another episode right. about that. I ain't got the time. I, ain't ready, ready, though. I, I promise. That argument. I, I, I would we could talk about it. Another yeah. episode. Right. They overrated. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So four hundred degrees. You don't think it's a classic? Southern classic for sure. Southern classic. Yeah. I, I say classic. Okay, from Texas to North Carolina, it's a classic. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> no, just four hundred degrees of classic. From Texas to North Carolina. What about G Code? Do you remember that? Yeah, of course. Was G Code? G Code, a Code Ward. Yeah. G Come on, man. <laughs> Was G I'm, from, I'm from the South now. I'm right. not. I'm not talking down on Juve at all. Project. I English. love Juvenile music. Did you like Project English? I didn't like that one actually. Uh, did you like uh, Juve the Great? Juve the Great. It was okay. I think Juve the Great for me. He started getting a little poppy. Yeah, um, that's the first album on Cash Money that I want to say that's the first Cash Money album that had like other features. I was like about to say that was features and stuff. And I don't think Manny Fresh nah, he did that whole album. Either. Manny Fresh didn't even do uh, slow motion. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, that's the first that. time. Yeah, he stepped out like yeah, like it was other producers. Yeah. On there. If you notice, Cash Money was very like gra uh, grassroots, yeah, family yeah. oriented, Real yeah, super, yeah, super, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then once I think Juvie came back, right? I want to say that was the start of them kind of. You know, venturing out doing right. up to the cash money we see today, right? right because right. that was one of the first cash money cash money albums that didn't do the pen and pixel artwork, yeah, cover, right. cover artwork. Oh yeah, oof. you know what I'm saying? Oof. Like that's how you know the traditional <laughs> cash got, money they got some money, right? Yeah, they yeah, got, yeah. you know they upgraded. Man. I actually uh, talked at a conversation on on my channel with the lady who 
actually signed their deal, their first deal. The white the cash right? money deal? Yeah, with, yeah, yeah. With yeah. Wow, that's, that's big. crazy. Thirty man. million dollar deal, man. Wow. Yeah. Because they already had, they were already millionaires. Yeah, they right. were. Birdman like, said they were making like a million or two million a month. Just took them to another level and opened them up more to other regions, but they were already yeah. like they were gonna be good in when life. they was just, and yeah. this one they was just like underground ground. Underground. Yep. Killing wow. it. Mm -hmm. Killing it. It was, yeah, it was a layup, that. Baby man. had a lot of success with Magnolia uh Slim was it Magnolia Shaw? Or Magnolia Slim. It was somebody who was uh, UNLV. Yeah, he, he had signed. Yeah, he's quite a I few know people. them. I yeah. know them for sure. Yep. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I say Juvenile has one classic album, which is Four Hundred Degrees. Uh, he did have classic songs like You Understand and everything on right. G Code. He got a lot of classic songs. Yeah, most, most don't get more than one anyway. Right. Yeah, it's hard to get more than one. But he had a pretty lengthy career because I counted from. 400 degrees, pretty much all the way into a reality check. Right. Or you could go back to Soldier Rags, give right. or take. Uh, is Juvenile a legend? Yes. Oh, come on, no question. Without a doubt. Without right? a doubt. Yeah. Is he a Southern legend? No, DJ Juvenile Cole? is a legend. Yeah. He's a legend. Back that ass up alone makes him legendary. Yeah. yeah. Bro, anytime you, I don't, listen, man, you put out, and and this isn't to say he was a one hit wonder by any means, but if you pull out, put out one song that lasts 20 years, that's not like, Oh man, you remember that? Cause yeah, like, it's not cause, like corny. Cause, yeah, because I don't want to yeah, get it confused. Because yeah. cause, cause everybody cause in the club get tipsy, it's going to be here for 20 years. But when it comes on, <laughs> we're like, man, you remember we used to dance to yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Versus say, when Back That Ass come up. Yeah, that, that's, a, like, yeah that's a whole other thing. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole other Because yeah. I was about to say, bro, like, uh, you talking about 20 years, whoop, there it is. Yeah, Still but that's on. a different vibe, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, that's <laughs> like a. Oh shit! I mean, sorry, my bad. That's like a oh, it's more about the nostalgia, yeah, 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 versus the record still being hot. It makes twenty years because if you hear Tipsy, it ain't gonna make you a man. Jay Quan went hard back nah. in the day. You yeah. hear back that ass up, you gonna be like, bro, I gotta yeah. give me some BG. You hear, I gotta uh, hear bro, Old Wayne. You hear Tipsy, you like, ah, remember yeah. we used to chicken <laughs> hey, Remember we used to chicken head in the Air Force yeah. Ones with the different. Bro, but you yeah. hear back that thing, that thing up, yeah. They run into the dance floor. I it's, think Juvenile, yeah. not to cut you up, but I no, think cool. Juvenile stood out so much as the flagship artist for Cash Money because okay. his voice was so rugged. Right. Yeah. His voice was rugged. He definitely had a distinct voice. It was very distinctive. He was personable. Yeah. All that stuff that he was talking about on uh huh yeah. felt so relatable yeah. if you come from the hood. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, because I, I grew up two hours away from New Orleans and Mobile, so yeah. it was like just... It felt like I was watching the projects like from my yeah. home. You know what I'm saying? It was it was crazy, but I think like just his uniqueness, his creativity. Not at, uh, any rapper could make a song like "Huh." Right. And <laughs> back that ass up when he's saying the same thing over. And, he right. he. I ain't gonna lie. He was giving us the same hits over and over again. Yeah. Cause, Cause uh, hey man, Mama got ass sound. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but if it ain't formula, broke, bro, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. and exactly. he did it. That's what's crazy to hey. me. Drake put that tunnel sound on every one of his records, and sure. it, it lasts. If, if it worked, it, it yeah. worked. He uh, did, but they just don't. If it ain't, it ain't broke, broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, before Unless Wayne, you any <laughs> I'm tired he, of that dude. But this dude, oh my god. But yeah, redheads. Uh, my young red. <laughs> that my, was so uncomfortable. It really was, man. Oh my god. Uh, oh. But anyway, redheads. The young redheads. Before Lil Wayne, you had Juvenile. Yes. Just point blank. So it brings us to the new Juvenile album. He put out an album with Birdman. Yeah. If people don't know, Juvenile is signed back to Cash Money Records. Yeah. He's been there for the last five years. Stop right there before you go um, any farther. How you feel about that? About him being signed to Cash Money again. I mean, for an artist like him, yeah. I see what he's trying to do. It makes sense for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. Juvenile, he put out a new album with Birdman, and the single was called Just Another Gangster. Right. right. Yep. That junk is banging. I like it, actually. But yeah. if he was Juvenile putting out by himself independently, yeah. I don't think that we would have been talking about it. What do you think? I think I think Juvenile can get some looks okay. regardless. Just off of the name alone, him putting some putting stuff out. Right. But I... As long as look, if the if the contracts look right, yeah, he ain't making that mistakes as a, as a grown man. Not, right, you know I don't know nothing about the business, but and you know they they got rid of their past issues. Yeah, would you, work and, work. and and to also would you rather him go out just staying independent? Like some people do that, but he could go out as a legend yeah. plus get his money on right. cash money. And like you said, to piggyback off of what you said, like if the paperwork is right, yeah, it, it's lovely being on the number one. Cash Money is the greatest hip hop label of all time. 
Arguably. Arguably, when we're talking about okay, longevity, arguably. longevity now. Got to disagree. Right. Who, who, who's it's, outlasted it's, Cash it's Money? to get in the arguably category. Yeah, that's what I'm but, saying. But is it? The Rock. Come on, man. The Rock. Hey, bro. Rock Nation? Yes. Better than Cash Money? Rockefeller slash Rock Nation? Yes. Who on Rock Nation is outselling Drake? Hove, what are you talking about? Hove does not outsell Drake. <laughs> Come no, on, I mean, man. are we talking about the tree? Because then you got to include Kanye in that. Kanye's right. not on Rock Nation. We okay, tree, but he was Rockefeller. He was Rockefeller. I'm saying Cash Money tree. Records has been Cash Money Records since day one. Not no. Is Drake not even signed to Cash Money no more? He was. Okay, Kanye was signed to Rockefeller. <laughs> as far as the most consistent. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Rockefeller is defunct. The, if you want to say the most consistent and just ongoing under one umbrella name. It's Cash Money it's Records. It's not, dog. It's Rockefeller. How? Rockefeller's well, defunct. I, I don't want to I don't want to go off on Is Rockefeller tangent. not defunct? Because this is Juvie episode, but we can debate. Like Motown. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, you know, I'm no, saying I said Whoa, whoa, whoa. Of course not. I said greatest we talking rap urban label labels, of yeah, all yeah. time. Urban label let's, rap. Let's do let's say that for another. Urban, episode. they got us using the urban. Oh my word. god. Let's no, no, that. I wanna know. <laughs> you so what well, I'm saying. Rock Rockefeller, Nation. bro. Rockefeller is the funk. You have Rock Nation. Uh, bro, that's it's the same, it's the same company. Dame Dash, Dame Dash on, and Jay-Z had Rockefeller. Get back to, get back to juvenile. They bro. did. We can do this all day. I'm asking, let me ask you this, okay? Was Dame Dash uh, what was it, Biggs and Jay-Z yeah. all on Rockefeller, right? That was their yes. company, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Is Rockefeller Records anymore? T- I, no, no, I don't think so. Rock Nation is something, Correct. right? That's Jay-Z's label. That's not the same as Rockefeller. Bro, okay. Who, Kanye is on Def Jam. Who was, the, who was the head and most important person at Rockefeller? Of course, I mean Jay Z, uh, no. but that's not the same label. I, I Jay Z wasn't necessarily most important. That was a pretty Jay Z and Dame. It was a. a it was a. It, it was hey, a man, go, hey, go back to Juvenile. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 I, I rest my case. Say this for another episode. Though. But Rock Nation is Rock, not Rockefeller. Rockefeller, Rockefeller not. is the greatest, and it's not enough. No, no it, huh? Rockefeller. Yes. No, absolutely it, not. It birthed the greatest rapper of all time. Okay, here we go. Well, that's arguably too, argue, arguable too because yeah. you got Lil Wayne. People will say Lil Wayne is the best rapper Wait, of all time. Now that's not even that's a question. what people would say. He's not in that argument. Redheads, you hear Jay is, Jay is clearly I said tripping. People, he clearly Lil tripping. Wayne. I said people would say Lil Wayne. Who is people? People, the young people. I don't say that he's the best rapper of all time. Juvenile, man. I already told you who I felt like the greatest rapper of all Wait, time. Soulja Boy. Has Drake surpassed Lil Wayne? <laughs> Has Drake surpassed Lil Wayne? Good question. As what? Better uh, rapper. Artist? Artist. Yeah. Oh, so we, we separate I'm artists, asking rapper. specific <laughs> questions. Because if we talk about as an artist, of course Drake is bigger than Wayne. As an artist... At- He's bigger than Jay as an artist. Okay. Right, yeah. But as a rapper, right. hell no. He don't even have a rap album. Do people even True. care about rappers anymore? I, he, yeah, I they care. Do. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, do. I mean, technically, like. <laughs> <laughs> the new generation. You know, I mean, saying. they don't care. Yeah, but they don't I care. care. Cash Money right. is has been Cash Money since day one. Juvenile. So, yeah, anyway. All right, so, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Juvenile. Uh, so, J- Juvenile and Birdman's record. Okay. Just another Just gangster. another gangster. Uh, I love the first song, which is the title track. Right, right. When I, I'm telling you, when I heard that, yeah. it gave me hope. But the album <laughs> let me down. Hope. The first, album let me down. First of all, that's your fault for getting your hopes up for an album with Birdman on. <laughs> Birdman has. Second of all, Birdman is what? No, no, no. Go ahead. Bird Birdman Man has what? been on classic records before. Okay, now I can agree with that. Okay, Birdman oh, yeah. has been on classic, classic records. Yeah. Yes, he okay. has. Yeah. When Wayne was writing for him. It don't matter who wrote for him. He's been on classic records. Okay, I can, we can agree on that. Everybody get your roll on. Keep going. Classic. Yes. Under now. <laughs> Still Big fly. timers. Big timers. Still fly. Number Big one timers, One of the they on the same they, levels. Outcast. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Get, get your boy. I'm just playing, man. Get your boy, Red. Big timers is dope. Did but anyway, you really say? <laughs> I'm just playing, man. God, dog. <laughs> Dang. Anyway, man, just another gangster. The song was just dope. Another gangster. Yeah. The song was dope. Right. The album was. I mean, it was a juvenile and Birdman album. Juvenile did his thing. Yeah. Um, he rapped his ass off. Yeah. Juvenile did his thing, but yeah. I mean, Birdman is Birdman. What you What you think? It was about? good to hear his voice again. Yeah. Right. Like that's what you. That's when you realize certain characteristics 
that just can't be replaced. Right. It was like not in, it wasn't until I heard the track, and I don't know if everybody even heard the track, but like until I heard it, when I heard him again, I was like, dang, I haven't heard that energy. Right. Right. Since I heard that energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and I will say he's I will say he seems hungry. Juvenile, yeah. 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 Juvenile rapping like yeah. he just turned 25. Yeah, he seems hungry. Yeah, but no. to me, the problem with it was, I guess I expected too much. Because uh, just another gangster, even though Manny Fresh didn't do the beat, yeah. they sampled too short, but it felt I felt bounce in yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it reminded me, what Seal the deal was when Baby started talking a little... St- Stuff at the end of it, yeah. when he started talking, I was like, "Oh man, he's an original hot boy." You heard me? I'm like, <laughs> I said, "You know what? I'm sold." But when I heard the oh, album, bro. it was that's how baby sell everybody else. Yeah, too, yeah, right? pretty much. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? <laughs> sh- you know what would have been dope? Be I'm gonna tell you what talk. they. Sh- right. I'm gonna tell you what they should have did. They should have just had Baby talking on tracks instead of rapping. Yeah, yeah. That that would have been dope. Well, they did his rap sometimes, but like, yeah, but he like yeah. come in just, and and now like, and just talk, talk, big, talk, talk yeah. that talk, yeah. and then that now that would have been a dope album. Yeah, but I, you know what I didn't like uh, the fact that the new rappers that are on there, like uh-huh. I just can't. Well, that's that's what I understand. You gotta, I understand. Yeah, I was about to say. That's I understand, the, that, but it, I can't. My ears when I go if they wouldn't have had the song just another game, right? I probably wouldn't. I'd be sad because when I was now. listening to the album, I was just like, "Jay, would you be listening to this if, if it, it wasn't, wasn't Birdman or Juvie?" Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was just like, "No, I wouldn't." But just another yeah. gangster. I've been playing that top to bottom. Yeah, like that. That that's like the my song. Not yeah, the album. song. The I song. Got you. I got you. Yeah, but uh, what you rated? The album? Yeah, mm, two and a half. Yeah, out of five. Same here. I haven't heard the whole, whole thing. thing, but uh, <laughs> safely say two and a half. All right, two and a half. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you have shout out to uh, Julian like Birdman. Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half, two and a half. Yeah, it's I mean it's average. Yeah. The production is nice. Yeah, but it was yeah. the same producer the whole time. We needed some Manny Fresh production yeah. on there. That's that's yeah. all. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Boosie put out an album. Boosie did put out an album. Did you hear it? Badass three point five. Of course I heard it. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. What does that mean? He's not from there. It don't. That's his second home. Why, <laughs> why you hate? I don't just. Why you hate? Juicy. Why you hate? They been to come. Why you hate? Uh, the culture group is gonna get me. Of right. Of course yeah. I listened to Boosie album. What'd you think of it? It was cool. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going to switch it up on me. Ask me uh, I but listen. I did listen to it though. Ask me that. Did you listen to I it? I did. I have it. I mean no, but I, I, I respect Boosie. And he call himself a music critic. He ain't even. I, I love that. I love what Boosie is about. Like you know what I'm saying. Like you can Boosie is one of the few artists that can get played in the club all day, depending yeah. on where you at. Well, depending on where you at. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. I'm talking about if you in Jackson, right, and yeah. New Orleans. Is right. that safe to say? I know. No, I don't know about New Orleans, Baton Rouge. Yeah, I know Mobile, Alabama. Yeah, Mobile, Alabama. Anywhere in Alabama. Yeah, you you could play Boosie. Like, North Carolina, South Carolina, yeah. any any of the like real southern states. Yeah. Not so much Atlanta, but that's because Atlanta has so many of its own yeah, artists that they don't need yeah. yeah. a lot Atlanta's of Atlanta's a different vibe. Yeah. yeah. Boosie, Have you heard it, Boosie? Boosie Badass 3.5? I, 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 I mess with Boosie real yeah. hard, but I didn't even know he had a project out. Yes, he did. Like, I didn't know until he told me neither. Hey, man, because... Yeah. Most likely, well, you got to get on his promo team, dog. Hey man, come in check, and I'm in. <laughs> I mostly see Boosie on come Vlad TV nowadays. Now. Like he, he's always on Vlad TV. Yeah, he be wilding too. On he there, does. It's funny. He always makes headlines. Yeah, shout stuff. out to Boosie though. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Uh, and I just want to talk about this. This is just something that's been happening. Did y'all see when Ghost kissed Beyonce? Oh man, from Power. Yeah. He called uh, him Ghost. Amari Harvard. <laughs> yeah. He called him man Ghost. I mean, you're gonna call him man by the real Listen, name. man, I don't watch Power. So I just know the man is, but I, I like I see what y'all talk about on yeah. social media. That man is I a, just know Ghost. That man is Amari Har- Hardwick or <laughs> Hardwick or something. You know what's crazy? I read somewhere that he almost kissed Beyonce in the mouth. Cause he's only used to kissing white women, and he don't realize how big, big they black. Look. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was hilarious. I don't remember, but I thought that was hilarious, bro. <laughs> Shout out to whoever came up with that. Somebody stole nah, man, but the, yo, so the way I feel about it personally is, all right, the first kiss was cool. I felt like he hugged Beyonce too long. And the second kiss was just inappropriate, bro. Like you think so? Yes, bro. Like, right. and I don't think he meant. I don't think he meant it. I'm gonna tell you what I really think. The same thing I would do if I met Beyonce. He fanned out. Mm. Like, he just didn't know, he didn't know what to do. He you know what where he was at. He, yeah. No, he fanned out. He was just <laughs> like, oh my God, this is Beyonce. I mean, and. Me got weak, bro. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, like, let's keep it a thousand. Beyonce and Jay Z, like them or not, are really like the king and queen of culture. The culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say black people. I think that's Michelle and Barack, but. 
I think. <laughs> I think mm. you don't think so. I'm just Absolutely. like okay. So if you had to, Where let's pause song? for a second. If you had to deem a king and queen of black, no, no, no. If you had to deem a king and queen of black people, who would you put besides Michelle and Barack? Jay Z and Beyonce. Really? Yes. Wow. Jay Z and Beyonce are more influential. They have. Now that's true. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Like the more that's they, true. They got more power than well, Dr. Music King. Has. Just, that's true. Yeah. Like real talk, but I'm it's not, because they do music, though. Yeah, and it's the culture. Yeah, of you're what, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can agree with that. Yeah, definitely. I can agree with that. Nah, you don't think so? Who nah. You, bro. Who would you put? <laughs> who Barack King and, and Michelle? Queen, King and Queen of Black People. If we had to, pick yeah, one. yeah, I'm gonna go with Barack and Michelle on that one, dog. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I, the only reason I say that is culture because is black culture, though. right? So that's like that. Those are different, right? It, it was wild to me that you separated them, but. When we want to do the face of black people, uh -huh. like we want to put Barack and Michelle up yeah. there, like that's that's us. Yeah. But then when we say the face of the culture, all right, Beyonce and Jay Z make sense. We got to separate, right? Because I because I even think uh, Jay Z and Beyonce not follow but follow exactly. the formula. Yeah. Well, Barack and Michelle is what it, I'm it was. A, we knew about Jay and Beyonce before Barack and Michelle. Yeah, yeah we knew. About I, we knew about them, but I don't know. Barack was the president of the they United States, the bro. Platform. They, 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 they respect the platform. And you got to think about old people. You think about... You think, exactly. You think old black people look at... Exactly. Beyonce not and Jay-Z. I know Beyonce Jay-Z getting up there, but... but right, nah, that's what I'm saying. Not, like, what type of old people do we have now? Okay. The old people I know listen to back that ass up. Right, but... Okay, my... my I'm not calling... <laughs> 40 I'm not calling my parents old, but my parents would listen to Barack Obama before they listen to Jay-Z. Well, I mean, yeah. But I... If you're talking about what represents black people... Yeah. I would still say Jay-Z. So you would vote Jay-Z and Beyonce as king and queen of black people if we had a vote for it? Yeah. Like, when you said Barack That's and Michelle, hard. I was uh, just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Like, no, no, no. I get it. No, I get it. Barack is Michelle, cool, Shout out to Michelle Obama. People don't know her memoir yeah. is the highest selling memoir of all time. Of I think all it's time. like 15 million. Yes, dog. Yeah, it's like that. 10 to 15 million dog. copies worldwide. She, like they, she don't ever have to work again if she don't want nope. to. I mean, I think she was straight on that. Already. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was. She was, she was That's a super fact, <laughs> right? Hey, redheads, you tell me what you think. Right. Yeah. If we had an election right now, oh, I mean, no, no, uh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about like a real, political office. I'm talking about like high school. Oh, okay, got you, got you. And it was we <laughs> was voting, yeah, yeah basically, yeah. And we was voting king and queen of black people. Who do you? That sounds crazy it to say, is, though. man. Yeah. But who would you? That's who would? No, I, yeah, let's do it. Who the king and queen of white people? Oh, we got finished. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's talk about shit that, that I, think, I care about. I think no, but I think oh, when wow. you say it that way, I might have to go Beyonce. Stanley. Stanley. See, Brock don't got no hits though. I can't dance. Well, no, but he can. He he sing every once in a yeah. while. Yeah. And Barack and who? Don't <laughs> he gotta, he gotta uh, win it, Joe. I ain't never right? seen Ho. I seen Barack give me a one two. You seen Jay on the, the jet ski? <laughs> Jay the hell he said, "I ain't never seen Jay who." Hey man, y'all is crazy, man. Anyway, man. Uh, but yeah, shout out to uh, everybody who's been supporting Red View thus far. Again, we are going to be on Brand Man Sean's network. Yes, sir. So make sure you subscribe. It. What is the exact? YouTube channel. Just type in Brand Man. That's B R A N D M A N. No spaces. Mm -hmm. That's it. Brand Man. It'll pop up. Yes, hey, sir. Subscribe. It is a pleasure to be, you know, linking up with you, bro. For All sure. Day. For sure. You know where to follow me. I'm at J Red. You know where to follow him. At T H E E D J P M A. www.thedjpm.com. Hey, before we go, shout out to Baby. He got the number one album in the country right now. The artist named the baby from North okay, Carolina. Baby, okay. yeah, he, he's super trill too. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what I like. That's what I like about him. Right authentic. Him. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I rock Shout him. out to baby. Where do we follow you at? Brand man Sean. So brand man, as I said before, but then you add S E A N for Sean. Not none of them other funny spellings of Sean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shout out to my Res U supporters and all my J Red fans because I just saw some of my album sales and I saw my streams and them things looking nice. So once two is available, huh? Let me hold something. Hey man, I'm trying to get like you, I DJ. Who? You could talk stuff about celebrities and stuff. I, I ain't got to that level yet. I'm just a bro but, uh, DJ trying to make it. But yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> shout out to everybody who copped the album and who's been streaming the album. They, yes, you sir. know, it's looking pretty straight. You know, we're trying to get better. But uh, shout out to all the hard work that Shantae Hughes put on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can get it on all 
major digital platforms, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon, Tidal. Uh, you can get it on Spotify, all that stuff, man. So, yeah. And we did... You got it on your MySpace? Oh, no, I forgot about MySpace. You know, they deleted it. MySpace? Yeah, they deleted it. Mm. Y'all know they wiped off the information. <laughs> Y'all read, read about that? No, no but I did read that Black Planet was coming back. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, Solange said something about it. Freak Nick's coming back, too. That nah, shit gonna bro. Be terrible, it's going to be coming back for 10 years. Right. Yo, nah. Freak... Hey, real quick before we go, Freak Nick will not work in today's day. It will not. It's too much social will, media. Yeah. It will not. It's too it much social and media. And there's a lot of junk that... And look at the people performing. It's a lot of sad stuff, honestly. Right. All that old... Yeah, it is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, like, the people performing are, like, older. Like, hey, they classic, man. Yeah. They not older. Don't do that. Well, classic, but I'm just classic. saying, if you're going to do, like, a Freak Nick 2020, or 2019, rather, wouldn't you want to get, like... Younger people. I wouldn't go no way. I'm going to be honest with yeah, you. Anyway, I think yeah, I missed yeah, that yeah. age. Yeah. Anyway. All right, y'all. <laughs> this is Res U. We are signing out. Don't give up. You going to be on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Give up. Don't give up. You going to be on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Give up. Don't give up. You going to be on. Don't give up, don't give up, give up. Don't give up, you gon' be on. Don't give up, yeah. give up, give yeah. up, give up. I know up. you got doubts, but get to the bag. Just follow the dream and stick with the plan. I know you get worried, I know you get scared. But it take that risk, or you get stuck there. The sky's the limit, don't think it's a ceiling. 